Falcons on the loose and on the prowl. Tonight, two different calls in just one week. The latest involving an Elk Grove family's dog that became a target while playing in the backyard. I'll wait till you see this. CBS 13's Anna Giles is live in Elk Grove with the bird on a mission, but at what price? Anna? Yeah, guys, the experts say that these were trained falcons that got away from their handlers. Well, one of them caused quite a scene for an Elk Grove family when it came into their quiet neighborhood and they had to get creative to fight it off. When a dog and a bird cross paths, you expect the dog to do the chasing. But Doug the Lab had no choice. He started running when a falcon landed on his back and latched onto his collar. Because we thought it was two dogs attacking because it was like a loud yelp and then growling from a dog. Erica Crooks and her whole family got involved. It felt like hours. She says her husband tried to smack the falcon off with a blouse from the clothesline as Doug and another dog panicked. There's the two dogs, my husband's trying to get them, and then we all come out and he's like, get inside, we're getting attacked. It was like the birds. The falcon continued to stalk everyone through the screen door, but eventually flew away. But we saw it like going, ca -ca, ca -ca. And like we saw its wing. I spoke with Sacramento Falconer Carl Kirster, who says this type of behavior is extremely rare. But he said it's possible the falcon had experience with dogs before. A hawk or falcon that has been trained to work with the dog will see the dog as an equal and as a hunting partner. Just days before Doug the Lab's encounter, a wildlife rescuer was called to this gruesome scene in Auburn. A separate falcon had escaped its handler and attacked and killed someone's chickens. Both falcons in each attack had GPS tracking devices, but only the first was captured. The falcon that came after Doug is still out there. If it's going to attack a chocolate lab at that size, I don't know what else it might get to. Yeah, and the falconer I spoke to actually said it's common for those falcons to get away and disappear during training because they're given a lot of freedom. Of course, this Elk Grove family did not expect to be on the receiving end of that. Yeah, interesting story. Glad Doug's okay, that's for sure. Anna, thank you.